everyone and well hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again in today's video i am going to show you guys how to crochet this simple hexagon uh, cardigan and this is going to be my first video uh, in english and english is not my first language it's not my native native language but i'll try my best to explain everything with details um and um this is very simple and very easy as you guys maybe some of you know that it's made in two pieces right and left and then it's joined here on the back side and uh, that's it there is no like there is no complicated pattern or anything like that if you know even the basic of the basics of the crochet you can make it easily the stitches i used are uh, single crochet chain. Um, of course you are going to start up with the chains so i used the basic chains regular single crochets and double crochets and that's it and uh, the stitch i used is called granny stitch and granny stitch is when you make three double crochet into the same stitch or into the same space it's called granny stitch it means that you are going to make three double crochets into the same uh, stitch or same space uh, the yarn i used is this one we love yarn and it's acrylic yarn it's 50 gram and i'll try to focus if i can and into uh, into 50 gram of uh, yarn there is approximately 150 meter of the yarn and the crochet hook i used is four four millimeter and i will also measure the length and width so you guys can have any uh, you guys can have some ideas that how long and wide it's gonna be when it when it's finished so the length is almost you can say approximately 11 inches or 28 centimeter and the length is 12 uh, inches or 30 to 31 uh, centimeter and this is how it is i did not attach, attach any buttons i just made these simple chains uh, cords and i just um, attached them because i want you to give it a, a different look so this is how it is it's uh, due to the, due to the light you can't see it maybe clearly and colors and pattern and all that but this is how it looks so let's start so this is our starting point and to start that we are going to make chain four we, we have to make a ring for that we have to make uh, just normal uh, basic four chains one two three and four and then you are going to join into the first chain to form a ring this is our tiny ring and then we are going to make chain three one two three and this is going to be count as our first double crochet and then we are going to make all of our stitches into into this ring into this circle this is our first double crochet and we are going to make two more double crochets into the ring two and three and then we are going to make chain two and this will complete our first corner then what we are going to do is we are going to make three double crochets into the same ring one two and three and then chain two and we are going to repeat this little section four more times like we are going to make three double crochet and chain two uh, four more times and i will meet you right here at the end of the round, uh, end of the round so i have completed all my corners uh, in the end you are going to end up with six uh, spaces of chain two and six sets of three double crochets it's one two three four five and here is the last one 
and then what we are going to do is we are going to slip stitch into the third starting chain which is this one one two three slip stitch into the third chain and then we are we have to start our next round here into this uh, chain two space so we are going to slip stitch into next two stitches into next two double crochets and then again into this chain two space now we are going to make chain three again one two three and this will count our first double crochet and we are going to make one more double crochet into the same chain two space and then we are going to make chain two and three double crochets into the same chain two space one two and three this is in complete uh, set of three double crochets because as i said the starting chain three is count uh, uh, chain three is count as um, our first double crochet and this is second double crochet when we are going to come here then we are going to add another double crochet right here so it's equal three double crochet here and th three double crochet here and th then there is chain two space now we are going to skip all of these three stitches all of these three double crochets and into the next we are going to make three double crochets one two and three chain two and three double crochets into the same chain two space one two and three now we are going to skip all of these three stitches and we are going to repeat this what we made here in all chain two spaces we are going to make three double crochet chain two three double crochets so i'll complete rest of the corners and i will meet you here I have completed all the corners now we are going to add one double crochet into our uh, first where we made our first stitches which was the first chain two space of last round we are going to add another one double crochet into it and then we are going to join at into the third uh, chain of starting chain three it's first second and third then I'm going to slip stitch into next stitch and then slip stitch into chain two space into first chain two space and then I'm going to make chain three one two three it's count as uh, our first double crochet then I'm going to make another double crochet then I'm going to make chain two and three double crochets into same chain two space then we are going to skip all three stitches and then we are going to make one granny stitch which is set of three double crochets into this space the space between two uh, two stitches two granny stitches there is this space we are going to make three double crochets into that one two and three then we are going to skip all of these stitches and into the next chain two space we are going to make our corner which is three double crochets one two three chain two and then three double crochets into the same chain two space now we are going to repeat from here to here all the way around to uh, when we reach here we are just going to skip all these three stitches and we are going to make three double crochets uh, into the space between two st sets of three double crochets and then into the chain two space we are going to make three double crochet chain two three double crochet all the way around here and i will restart the videos uh, i will restart the video when i reach here now i'm at the end of this round and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another double crochet here to complete this corner like that and then i'm gonna join into the third starting chain and that's it and i'm gonna cut the yarn because i'm going to change the color i'm going to change color every after every third round but if you don't like to change the color and you want to carry in one color you can just go 
and now I'm going to add light gray color you can add anywhere you want to uh, I'm gonna add here in this corner and then I'm going to make chain 3 1 2 3 and then I'm going to add this is chain 2 space this is our chain 2 space so I'm going to add another double crochet and then I'm gonna make chain 2 and then I'm going to add three more double crochets into this chain 2 space 1 2 and 3 this is the last round I'm gonna show you how to make and then the rest of the rounds like this is our third round and we are going to make nine total rounds so rest of the rounds are um, identical so that's why I'm not gonna show you that because I have to save um, some time so our video is not so le lengthy so what you have to do is that you are going to make three double crochets between sets of three double between two sets of three double crochets as you can see there is a space here between there are three double crochets here and three double crochets here so you, you are going to add three double crochets into this space and then you are going to skip these three double crochet and then you are going to add three double crochets into this space and then you are going to skip these three double crochets and always remember that chain two space is your corner like this these corners these corners so into corners you are going to add three double crochets chain two three double crochets so let's make this round and then i'll i'll, st I'll stop the video and i will make the rest of the video uh, rest of the rounds of uh, camera so we are gonna skip these three stitches and we are gonna add three double crochets in between the sets of three double crochets one two and three here and then I'm gonna skip all these three double crochets and I'm gonna add three double crochets in between these two sets of the three double crochets one two and three here and now we are on the point where our uh, corner is which is two double crochet uh, two uh, chain two space we are going to add three double crochets one two and three and then we are going to add chain two and three more double crochets into the same chain two space one two and three and this is the pattern we are uh, this is the partner uh, this is the pattern we are going to repeat is from here to here we are going to add three double crochets in between uh, three uh, sets of uh, three, uh, three double crochets here and here and into the corner we are going to add three double crochet chain to three double crochet and I will resume the video when I reach here okay I am at the end of this round and what I am going to do is what I did before is that I am going to add another double crochet into the first chain two space where we made one uh, chain three and one double crochet what I am going to do is now is to slip stitch into third chain and then I am going to slip stitch into next double crochet and then into chain two space and then I'll I'll continue my work I'm gonna stop the video right now and then I will do rest of the rounds off camera uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three double crochet chain two three double crochet in all chain two spaces and then I will make a set of three double crochet between these spaces between sets of uh, each uh, we call it granny stitch so I'm going to make a granny stitch in between all the granny stitches so in last round I had uh, I had two sets of uh, granny stitches between corners in this round I'm going to end up with three sets of granny stitches one is going to be here one here and one here and then into the into the corner I'm going to add three double crochet chain two three double crochet and after making three rounds with the light gray yarn I'm going to change color to yellow if you guys don't like to change color then you guys can carry on in one color and after completing nine rounds like this 
uh, uh, which I have already explained that uh, we are going to make three double crochet chain two three double crochet and uh, into the corner and uh, granny stitch in every uh, between two granny stitches like there so I'm going to continue like this for nine rounds in total uh, one two three four I have made four rounds I'm going to make five more rounds and then I will restart the video after I have finished nine rounds so I have repeated the pattern for like uh, 10 rounds sorry in, uh, earlier I, uh, earlier I said that I'm going to repeat the pattern for nine rounds but no it was actually for 10 rounds and this is the 10th round what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete this round by adding as you guys know one double crochet into the first chain two space to complete our corner and then I'm going to slip stitch into third starting chain and then I'm going to slip stitch into next double crochet and then into chain two space now there are some uh, changes we are going to make and I'm gonna show you what we are going to do next I have already made one side of the cardigan and what I did was that after completing 10 rounds what I did was I made two extra round this is going to be the back side of our cardigan like this and what I did was I made two extra rounds of granny stitches here because if we were going to continue uh, the pattern and uh, to make the width uh, more uh, what you call it wider then what will happen that this will also get wide which i don't want i don't want it to, the these leaves i don't want them more like uh, bigger or more wider so that's why i stopped uh, what i was doing and then what i did was i added two rounds i added two rounds of granny stitches here on the back and for that what we are going to do is we are going to I have already slip stitched into chain 2 space and then for next 2 rounds I am not going to work in uh, rounds I mean I am not going to join at the end what I am going to do is I am going to turn work around so right now I am going to make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and this is counts as uh, your first double crochet I'm going to make two more double crochets into same chain two space. Sorry, this was the wrong side. No, it was the right side. Anyway. <coughs> I'm going to make chain three and then I'm going to add two more double crochets into same chain two space what I'm going to do right from now is I'm going to add one granny stitch between all uh, between the spaces of two stitches like here and here and here I will do one or two set, sets of uh, granny stitches and the rest I will do off camera one two and three And our next stitch will be, be uh, between these two sets of three double crochets so I'm gonna make a granny stitch here one two and three and this is the pattern I'm gonna repeat until I reach here and this is where I will re resume my video now I have reached the next chain two space I started my round here and then I'm to the next chain two space what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three double crochets into that chain two space one two and three now I'm not going to work uh, like there I'm just going to turn around so I'm going to make chain three one two three and turn my work around and then I'm going to add another double crochet into the same double crochet I made chain 3 on here so these are our two double crochets what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one granny stitch in between all the granny stitches one two three 
and the next one will be here between these two sets of three double crochets one two three and this is the pattern I'm going to repeat until I reach here and then I will resume the video again I have reached at the end of this round and what I did was I made last uh, set of uh, three double crochet or last granny stitch what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip first and second double crochet and into third double crochet or, or, or it was our uh, starting chain three so but starting chain three counts as our first double crochet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two double crochets in on the top or uh, of the chain three or into the third chain three and now our uh, back side of the cardigan is completed so i'm gonna cut off the yarn now we have to do some folding so that we know where our back side is what you are going to do this is our back side so what you are going to do is you are going to take this corner and this is our last corner before we added these two rounds so we are what you are going to do we are going to place it over it so now we know that this is our back side of the cardigan this is our front side of the cardigan and this is going to be our sleeves i have already made one it's hard to show the whole cardigan <laughs> due to the camera because i'll try but i will try so this is how it's gonna be we are going to join here but before that we have we have to make our arms or our sleeves also longer so what i'm going to do is you just have to need to know that which part is our sleeves so now as we know this is our back back side this is our this is our back side of the cardigan and this is going to be the front side so this is going to be the cuff of our uh, sleeves and we have to make the sleeves a bit longer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to join the yarn into this corner into this chain to space i'm going to join the yarn by making chain three one two and three and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make <coughs> I'm sorry my yarn is a bit tangled so <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this chain uh, starting chain 3 it, this counts as our first uh, uh, double crochet so I'm going to make two more double crochets into this chain 2 space and our first granny stitch is now completed what i'm going to do is i'm going to repeat the pattern part pattern and which is that i'm going to make one granny stitch in between sets of all granny stitches so our next three double crochets are going to be here so i'm going to make three double crochet or one granny stitch into this space two and three and then i'm going to skip three stitches and i'm going to add three double crochets here and i'm going to repeat the pattern by making one granny stitch in between all granny stitches and i will resume the video when i reach here so i can save some time so i have reached at the end of this round and uh, this is <coughs> this is where i started my mm, round this is where i attached the yarn and then i repeated the pattern and now i am uh, into this chain two space and i'm going to make three double crochets into this chain two space one two and three and this is our first round uh, 
so that's how our, how I, our first round is completed what I'm going to do is I'm going to make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and I'm going to turn my work around I'm going to turn around and I'm going to make one more double crochet into same double crochet I made chain 3 so I'm going to make uh, a granny stitch in between all the granny stitch 1 2 and 3 and I'm going to repeat this pattern by making a granny stitch in between all these granny stitches until I reach here which is going to be almost at the end of this round so I have reached at the end of this round what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this double crochet and this double crochet and this is our starting chain 3 so I'm going to make two double crochets into third chain 1 and 2 and that's how our second round at the cuff of the sleeve is completed what I'm going to do is now I'm going to make chain 3 and turn my work around and then I'm going to make one granny stitch into first available uh, what you call it a gap between these two double crochets and three double crochets so I'm going to make one granny stitch into that space one two and three then I'm going to skip these three double crochets and I'm going to make one granny stitch in between sets of two granny stitches until I reach here. So I have reached at the end of this round and, and I have done my last granny stitch which was between these two double crochets and three double crochets between this granny, uh, granny stitch and this these two uh, two double crochets what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I did if you guys can remember I did one uh, double crochet or chain three which is counted as first double crochet so I'm going to make one double crochet in, on the top of starting chain three of the last round like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make chain 3 <coughs> chain 3 1 2 3 and turn my work around and I'm going to repeat round second round this one round I'm going to repeat again which was I have made uh, three chains which uh, which are our which is our first double crochet so I'm going to make another double crochet into the same stitch then I'm going to skip this granny stitch and I'm going to make one granny stitch in between all these granny stitches until I reach until I reach here So I have reached at the end of this round and what uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, skip all these three double crochets and I'm going to make two double crochets on the top of starting chain three of the last round. So I'm going to make two double crochets one and two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat this uh, round sorry I'm going to repeat this round I'm going to repeat this round and this will be the last round of our sleeves what I'm going to do is I'm going to I have made chain one which is going to be our which is uh, going to be counted as our first double crochet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to skip this uh, double crochet and I'm going to make one granny stitch between these two double crochets and this granny st stitch 
so I'm going to make one granny stitch which is three double crochets one two and three now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the pattern by making one granny stitch between all granny stitches until I reach here and this is where I, I'm going to resume my video again <clears throat> so I have reached at the end of this round and what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this double crochet and I'm going to make one double crochet on the top of starting chain 3 from the last round and now our sleeve is completed so I'm going to cut off the yarn and pull it snug tight So I have completed both sides. These are not finished, but sleeves are completed. So what I'm going to do is I have folded them like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join them at the back side from here to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join the yarn and this is the right side and this is the wrong side of the cardigan so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to join the yarn this is the chain 3 and this is the double crochet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to join the yarn into front loop of the chain 3 and back loop of this double crochet. I'm gonna grab the yarn and I'm gonna chain 1 and I'm going to make 1 double crochet into same stitch. What I'm going to do is this is the next double crochet and as you guys know there are two loops this is the front loop and this is the back loop I'm going to insert from below into the front loop of this double crochet and from above into the back loop of the double crochet from the other side and I'm going to make a single crochet I'll show you once more and then I'll do the rest of the round I will do off camera front loop of the double crochet which is facing towards you and the back loop of, loop of the double crochet which is on the other side like that grab the yarn and make one single crochet so I'm going to do that from here all the way to the to there and uh, then I will resume the video so I have reached the end of this round so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the yarn and pull it tight so now uh, I'm going to do some folding this is our back side and now I'm going to fold it like this these are our sleeves so maybe you guys can see the uh, form of the cardigan better now this is how it is right now so we are going to do some joining here as well I will start joining from here until I reach here I will count the stitches and then I will let you that where ha I have to stop joining here if you have some stitch markers it's good if you don't have it's okay you can just count the stitches what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm gonna do some stitch marking this is the front side so so after this chain two space i'm going to skip one uh, granny stitch and two granny stitch and i'm gonna put the stitch marker here and this is the uh, chain two space of the back side these are the two rounds we made extra so we are not gonna count them this is the chain two space of the last uh, of the back side so i'm gonna skip one uh, uh, granny stitch and into and two granny stitch and i'm gonna 
foot stitch marker here and there so there are two stitch uh, there are two granny stitches on the uh, front side after chain two space and there are two granny stitches on the back side after chain two i'm going to do the same on the other side i'm going to I'm going to this is our chain 2 space so I'm going to skip one granny stitch after chain 2 space and second granny stitch after uh, after chain 2 space and I'm going to place the stitch marker between second and third granny stitch and I'm going to do the same on the back side this is chain 2 space and this is our first granny stitch and this is our second granny stitch and So I am going to place a stitch marker between space of second and third granny stitch from the front after chain 2 space and I am going to do the same. I am going to skip first and second granny stitch and I am going to place stitch marker between second and third like that. Now what I am going to do is. I am going to start joining from the cuff so I'm sorry I'm trying to focus so I'm what I'll do I will join the yarn this is the cuff of our uh, cuff of the sleeve so I'm going to join into this uh, on the top of uh, uh, double crochet and into the third chain of the starting chain first second and third and I am going to grab the yarn pull the yarn and I am going to make chain one and uh, this is the right side of our work so I am going to make single crochet into same loops I just grab the yarn like that now what we are going to do is we are going to find if you look closely you will see there are two loops of the double crochet these two loops of the front double crochet and two loops of the chain three space um, of the chains uh, starting chains we are going to grab these are the two loops of the double these are the two loops of the double crochet and these are the two loops of the chain three we are going to grab the yarn from all four loops and we are going to make a single crochet and next is if you can see there is a tiny loop which is base of this double crochet and top of the chain three double uh, chain three uh, starting chain three we are going to insert the uh, crochet hook into that loop which is base of this double crochet and we are going to find the same loop which is going to be on the other side this is the ch uh, chain three this is the bottom of the this is the top of the double crochet on the other side and there is a tiny loop you are going to insert your hook into that loop and you are going to pull and then you are going to make a single crochet again you are going to this is the chain three you are going to insert between these two loops of the chain three and these two loops of double crochet on the other side and then you are going to make a single crochet again this is the bottom of the double crochet and top of this uh, chain three so you are going to insert your hook into this loop and on the other side this is the bottom of um, this double crochet 
and uh, top of this chain 3. This is the joining po point you can call it. This is the joining point of two uh, stitches. This is chain 3 and you made a double crochet on the top of that chain 3. So you are going to insert into that chain th uh, that uh, joining part and then you are going to pull. I'm going to repeat that until we reach here. This is our uh, chain 2 space. So I will repeat the same pattern until I reach here and then I will resume the video. So I have reached here. This is our uh, uh, chain 2 space of the front side of the uh, sleeve and this is the chain 2 space of back side of the sleeve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one double crochet into both of those um, chain 2 spaces. What, now it's very easy. You, now we have reached the top tops of the all the double crochets so what we, i'm going to do is i'm going to insert the hook into both loops of this double crochet of this side and under the both loops of the double crochet on the other side i'm gonna grab the yarn and i'm going to make a single crochet i'm going to do that all the way here until we reached uh, until we reach we, we have placed our stitch marker so i have reached the stitch marker what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the stitch marker and i'm going to place a single crochet into the space both on the front and back where our stitch marker was and then i'm going to cut the yarn and pull it snug so so i have joined this side of the sleeve and i'm going to do the same off camera on the other side from here to the stitch marker and then i'm going to make one uh, one single crochet into this stitch marker after i have completed this then <clears throat> we will work on the front and we are going to add some extra rounds on the bottom so we can get the desired uh, length of the cardigan uh, because the length I want is not complete yet I'm, I mean I have to add at least three or four rounds here here on the bottom to get the desired length so right now I will do this off camera and then I will restart the video when we are going to do the front and the bottom of the cardigan Now we will work on the bottom of the cardigan to make it a bit longer. For that you are going to join into the uh, chain, bottom chain 2 space on the right side. You are going to join your yarn. Here into this chain 2 space on the uh, bottom right side. Join the yarn and then make chain three one two three and make two more double crochet into the same chain two space that's how our first uh, granny stitch is completed and now we are going to make one granny uh, stitch between each uh, space uh, between two granny stitches so we are going to make one granny stitch into this space and one into this and uh, we will repeat that pattern all the way to the end um, there was something i wanted to tell you guys that's why i have stopped working here this is uh, the chain two space on the back side i have made one granny stitch into that and now these are two double crochets at the start of the next round on the back side we are going to make three double crochet or one uh, what you call it uh, granny stitch into here here is the joining uh, part i will call it you are going to make one granny stitch into that one two and three and this is the top part of the starting chain three and bottom part of the 
uh, double crochet of the next round now we are going to make a one granny stitch uh, where this is where we joined our both uh, hexagon so we are going to make one granny stitch on that it will be a bit hard to make uh, stitches in that but like that and now we are going to make one granny stitch into this tiny loop if you guys can see this is the top of the chain 3 and bottom of uh, sorry this is the uh, top of the double crochet and bottom of the chain 3 into this loop we are going to make one granny stitch one two and three and now I will make one granny stitch into this chain 2 space its second um, hexagons uh, chain 2 space that's it and then I am going to repeat the pattern by making one granny stitch in between each uh, uh, between gap of uh, every two granny stitches here we have reached at the end and this is the uh, chain 2 space on the end of this round uh, so we are going to make one granny stitch into this into that chain 2 space and this is how it looks right now so what we are going to do is we are going to chain 3 1 2 3 turn your work and then make one more double crochet into the same stitch then we are going to make one granny stitch between all the granny stitches all the way to the end i have reached at the end so now what i am going to do is i am going to skip first two double crochets and into third which is our chain three i am going to make two double crochets and this is how our second round is completed now cut the yarn now I'm going to change the color of the yarn and I'm going to join the yarn here on the collar side on the right collar side into this chain 2 space I am going to join the yarn the dark grey yarn chain 3 1 2 3 and make 2 more double crochets into same chain 2 space 1 and 2 now from here to here this is the second uh, or what you call it the, this is the uh, other chain two space we are going to make one um, a granny stitch between all the granny stitches until we reach here so I have reached uh, the chain two space so I'm going to make three double crochet or one granny stitch into that chain two space one two and three and now and now we have reached the point these are our two extra uh, rounds which we made at the bottom so these are the joining uh, spot i will call it there is a tiny loop here if you can see it that's the bottom of this uh, double crochet and top of this chain 3 space I'm going to make 3 double crochets of 1 granny stitch into that loop or into it's not loop it's a tiny hole so we are going to make 3 double crochets into that and now we have reached at the end of this round here what we are going to do we are going to make 3 double crochet 1 2 3 chain 2 1 2 and then 3 double crochets into the same stitch and this is our corner bottom right corner this one now we are going to 
now skip this gap and then make one granny stitch between these two granny stitches and now repeat the pattern which is that you are going to make one granny stitch between all the granny stitches until you reach here now i have reached the other corner of the bottom so what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip this gap and i'm going to make this is our starting chain three so i'm going to into the third chain i'm going to make three double crochets one two three chain two and three double crochets into same stitch like that now we are going to turn our uh, work clockwise and I'm going to make three double crochets into this tiny hole which is the joining part of uh, two rounds this is chain three uh, this is bottom of chain three and top of this double crochet so I'm going to make three double crochets into that hole one two and three now this is our uh, chain two space of the other uh, this is the collar and this is uh, the chain chain two space and this is the other chain two space so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make one granny stitch into that chain two space one two and three so from here to here i'm going to repeat the pattern i'm going to make one granny stitch in between all the granny stitches and then one granny stitch into this chain two space so this is how our cardigan looks like right now i'm going to do another round here and then i will show you that what i'm going to do next right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make chain three chain three one two three turn your work and make one double crochet into the same stitch and then work one uh, uh, granny stitch in between all the granny stitches until you reach here and this is our uh, bottom corner I have reached the first chain two space or the first bottom corner what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, one granny stitch which is three double crochet one two and three and then chain two and three double crochet more into the same chain two space Now continue the pattern which is that you make one uh, granny stitch between all the granny stitches until you reach here into this chain 2 space then make um, uh, 3 double crochet chain 2 3 double crochet into the same chain 2 space and then repeat the pattern which is that make one uh, granny stitch in between all the granny stitches and I will meet you guys when I am here. I have reached at the end of this uh, round and this is our starting point where we started our uh, last round what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip first and second double crochet I'm going to skip first and second double crochet and into third which is our chain three I'm going to make two double crochet into that third chain one and two and then cut the yarn so this is how our cardigan uh, looks like right now and uh, 
there are only a few rounds we have to make some are on we, ha we have to work here on the collar and here on the cuff now you join the yellow color into the same uh, stitch we just uh, made into the last stitch we just made and then you join the yellow yarn and then chain one and make one single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet one single crochet into the all double crochets until you reach this uh, first uh, chain two space I have reached first uh, chain two space and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one single crochet chain two and one more single crochet into that chain two space and then I'm going to repeat the pattern which is that I'm going to make one single crochet in all double cro double crochets until I reach here into this uh, next uh, chain two space I'm going to make one single crochet chain two one single crochet into that and then I will continue making one single crochet in all the double crochets and uh, I will resume the video when I reach here I have reached here which is the other corner of the co uh, collar what I'm going to do is this is our um, second last stitch I made a single crochet into that and into the last stitch I thought maybe I should zoom out a little bit and uh, show you guys where I have reached and this is where I started my work this is where I started this round and I worked all the way around to the here and this is the last stitch of the last round or first stitch of the last round so I'm going to so I'm going to make one single crochet into next stitch which is chain 3 starting chain 3 chain 2 and one more single crochet into the same stitch like that now we are not going to turn our work what we are going to do we are going to work on this collar so we are going to make stitches here so what we are going to do is this is starting chain 3 So I'm going to make one single crochet here. So I'm going to make a single crochet here. This is our third chain where we made our uh, one single crochet chain to one single crochet and into the second chain of same uh, chain three I'm going to make one single crochet and then this is the bottom of this chain 3 and top of this chain, uh, double crochet into that hole you can see that hole I'm going to make one single crochet into that and then I'm going to make one single crochet into these both loops of this double crochet this is the side of the double crochet I'm going to make one single crochet into that and then I'm going to make one single crochet into this chain 2 space and then make one single crochet make one single crochet in all these double crochets
and then make one double uh, one single crochet into this chain two space and this is the joining part of our uh, back side so i'm going to make one single crochet into that point one single crochet into next chain two space this is the back side and then i'm going to make one single crochet in all double crochets i will speed up a bit so that i can save some time now i have reached the other uh, chain two space sorry this was not the joining point this was the shoulder point this was the shoulder point now we have reached the uh, chain two space of the back side i'm going to make one single crochet into that then i'm going to make this is starting chain three so i'm going to make one single crochet into second chain and then one single crochet on the third chain or the top of this chain three and bottom of this double crochet i'm going to make one single crochet and then i'm going to make one single crochet into this side of the double crochets of the double crochet and there are two loops so i'm going to make one single crochet into that and now i am going to make now i am going to make one single crochet on the top of that double crochet and now we have reached the joining point this is the central point of the back side this is where we joined the both hexagons what i am going to do is i am going to make one single crochet into that joining point then i am going to make one single crochet on uh, on this uh, what you call it um, this is chain 3 and this is the top of the chain 3 i'm going to make one single crochet on the top of the chain 3 and one single crochet into this second chain of chain 3 and then this is the bottom of the chain 3 and top of this double crochet so i'm going to make one single crochet into that tiny hole and then one uh, single crochet into next double on the side of the double crochet and then i'm going to make one single crochet into the chain one space and then i'm going to make simply regular one single crochet in all double crochets until we reach the joining part of the shoulder so this is chain 2 space i'm going to make one single crochet into that and this is the joining point of the shoulder so i'm going to make one single crochet into that one single crochet into sorry this is not this is not chain 2 space this is just the this is not chain two space this is just the gap between two granny stitches sorry i got confused and then make one single crochet into that into the gap between in uh, next two what you call it and then you make one single crochet into next available gap and then make one single crochet into all double crochets until you reach the round until until you reach the chain two space this is chain two space make one single crochet into that now this is uh, our starting chain 3 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make one single crochet into the second chain of starting chain 3 one single crochet on the top of this chain 3 and bottom of the double crochet of the next round and one single crochet on the side of the same double crochet and then here we have reached where we started our round what i'm going to do i'm going to make one more single crochet into the same uh, stitch where we started our round and then i will make chain 2 and slip stitch 
with the starting single crochet cut the yarn change the color and you can join anywhere you want to just join anywhere I'll join here chain one single crochet in all single crochets and into the this uh, corner which is chain two space I'm going to make one single crochet chain two one single crochet and then repeat this pattern by making single crochets in all the single crochets and into chain two space you are going to make one single crochet chain two one single crochet in all four corners you are going to make that and uh, then change the color and repeat this round one more time with the light gray color so this is how my cardigan looks like right now after completing these three rounds uh, I made a mistake it was not a mistake I had to do that I, I wanted to make these two rounds also in yellow color so that I can make this border type thing I could start with the uh, dark gray and then light gray and then yellow but, but I ran out of yellow yarn that's why I have to improvise improvise so i used <clears throat> dark gray color yarn here just to save some yarn so this is how it looks like right now now we have to work on the cuff i have made one and the other one i am going to make on camera for that what you have to do is uh, join the yarn anywhere in any stitch it doesn't matter i used one number uh crochet hooks i i used one uh, smaller uh, what you call it this is four millimeter uh, four millimeter crochet hook but i'm gonna use three millimeter on the cuff what i'm going to do is i'm going to join the dark gray yarn anywhere in any stitch it doesn't matter where do you join it um let's see i'm gonna join it here and then i'm gonna make chain one and one single crochet into the same stitch one single crochet into the next and uh, now we have reached this is our joining point where we sew them where we join them together I'm going to make one single crochet into that joining part and then I'm going to make just simply make one single crochet into all the stitches until here and then join into the first single crochet then change the color to the light gray if you want to and make one single crochet in all single crochets and then you join the yellow uh, yarn and then make one single crochet in all single crochet simple as that now join your yellow yarn into the chain two space of uh, your collar here and then you make just simple plain regular chains as many as you want to I'm going to make 45 to 50 and then you just cut the yarn and that's it